Destin Vision. I'm Pastora Tessa, and this is Monday Messenger. But before that, let me invite you to please stand up and let's worship the Lord together. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Give her of eternal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Here we go! You are the one who saves, you are the one who saves, you are the one who sends, lifts us from the grave. You are the light of life, the everlasting day. You are the one who takes all our sins away. You are giving and Forgiving, ever blessing, ever blessed. Fountain of the joy of living, ocean depths of happy rest. You are the one who saves, you are the one who saves, you are the one whose hands lift us from the grave. You are the light of life. Everlasting day, you are the one who takes all our sins away. Jesus, you are my rescue. Jesus, you are my rescue. I give you everything I am. Jesus, you are my rescue. Jesus, you are my rescue. I give you everything I am. Come on! Jesus, you are my rescue. Jesus, you are my rescue. I give you everything I am. Here we go! You are the one who saves. You are the one who saves. You are the one. the light of life, the everlasting day. You are the one who takes all our sins away. You are the one who takes all our sins away. You are the one who takes all our sins away. I'm Mai. And I'm Bettina. And this is Verse, verse of, of the day. day. For our verse, let's go get our Bibles and open them to a very familiar verse, yes. Romans 1.16. It says there, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Yes, this is a very familiar verse for every one of us, so why don't you join us and let's recite this verse together. Romans 1.16 for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Now it's time for our challenge. We challenge you once again every Monday, messengers, to be messengers of the gospel by chatting your friends and your loved ones Bible verses that will bring life and encouragement to them. And we also challenge you to post these verses on your timeline because you never know who you may encourage when they see those verses. And you guessed it, we're going to say that one-liner. Do not be ashamed of the gospel Amen. because you can never truly underestimate the power it has in our own lives and God's ability to change who we are. Amen. So as you post those verses, don't forget your hashtags, Destined Nation and Monday Messengers. And be sure to make your post public so that you'll be able to share it and reach out to more people. Yes, and also don't forget to tag five of your classmates so that they'll be encouraged as well with these verses. And you never know, they might even do it as well. Yeah. So see you again next week for our Monday Messengers. This, this has, has been Verse of the Day. day. You, you are destined for Christ. Christ. 
welcome back teens. This is Pastora Abigail with Shalina. A shame and need confidence to share the gospel? Here we will have tips to find confidence in sharing the gospel even in the time times. Number one, you find confidence in sharing the gospel in God and not in your own ability. It says in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 4, such is the confidence that we have to press toward God. Number two, is you always pray before sharing the gospel. Don't lose heart even if you're not like a Bible scholar. As God's messenger, you should find your confidence from God. He will enable you to speak His word. First, pray that God will prepare you and the heart of the person you'll share the word of God to. Second, pray that you will have confidence in sharing His word. It says in Proverbs 3, Verse 5, NLT. It says here, Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust Him and He will help you. Number 3 is you find confidence in God and in the Word of God whenever you share the gospel. Let me read to you Hebrews 10 verse 35 to 36. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence which has a great reward for you have the need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you receive what is promised. So even as young as you are teens, you can share the gospel without any hindrance. Now everything is online. What you can do is you get the materials that we have. We have three videos. So what you need to do if you have friends, loved ones, classmates that you want to share the gospel to, you can set up an appointment for them to be able to video call them. You send them the video of our trio outreach and then after that, you share to them a couple of scriptures and you lead them in the salvation prayer. Amen, teens! That's it for our Evangelism 101. I am not ashamed to share the gospel. I am not ashamed to share the gospel. How about you, teens? If you are unashamed to share the gospel, kindly type in your comment section I am not ashamed of the gospel. See you again! Hello to you! I am Pastora Cristal and welcome to this segment called Teens in Tune. And here I am going to update you with awesome Christian songs that you can listen to. But before we include a song on our list, we make sure that the lyrics are Bible-based. For today's episode, we are featuring the song Oh My Soul by Travis Cottrell. Travis is from North Carolina but later in his life, he moved to Nashville, Tennessee to study music. After studying, he focused on writing songs, composing, and leading worship only for the glory of the Lord. This song, Oh My Soul, was released January of this year, and it is from the album Spirit Rise. The song, Oh My Soul, has an upbeat sound, and it reminds us that worship should come from our inmost being, our soul. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 2, Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my inmost being, praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Our soul is composed of our will, emotions, and our intellect. It means that when we praise the Lord, we praise out of our willingness. We praise from our hearts. We praise sometimes with our deep emotions because God sees our heart. Amen? And we praise God with our mind. We don't sing songs mindlessly, but when we sing songs, when we lift our hands in worship, we remind ourselves of the goodness of God, of who He is and what He does. So, let's listen to this song, Oh My Soul. Oh my soul, lift up the name of the one who saves. He reigns forever. Oh my soul, lift up your praise. I will rise and bless the Lord. Oh my soul, oh my soul, oh my soul, oh my soul, oh my soul. I hope you like our song feature for today. Oh 
Oh My Soul by Travis Cottrell. You can check it out in our Spotify playlist, Destination Teens in Tune. Always remember, it is important that we choose the songs that we listen to. Let God's Word always be our standard in everything. As 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. Remember, you are destined for Christ. God bless you! Hi teens, this is your compass. As God's messenger, you are not ashamed of the gospel. Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Can you declare that you are not ashamed of the gospel? What does it mean? The word ashamed there in its original writing has a meaning to be embarrassed or fearful. So when you declare that you are not ashamed of the gospel, you don't feel embarrassed or fearful because of the gospel, handling the gospel. Remember what I have taught you last Monday about the gospel? That it saves, it heals, it brings blessings, hope, and many more. Is there anything to be ashamed of that good news? Nothing! And now, what are we not to be ashamed of? Number one, you are not to be ashamed of Jesus and His word because Jesus warned the people who will be ashamed of him. Mark 8 verse 38, For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. We don't want to be in that place. So can you boldly tell that you love Jesus? Jesus said that if you love me, you will obey my commands. Are you willing to say no for an answer? Even people will reject you because you want to keep the commands of Jesus. Yes, you can. And what are the things that God asks of you? Are you in obedience doing that or preaching the gospel? And that leads us to our second point. You are not to be ashamed of the gospel. Prior to our verse, in verse 15, Paul said, that he is eager, he is not ashamed, he is eager to preach the gospel. In verse 15, so I am eager to preach the gospel to you also who are in Rome. Teens, you are not just living to exist. You are living to save people by snatching them out of the fire through preaching the gospel. It says in Jude 1.23, save others by snatching them out of the fire. Remember God gave us a spirit of power and not of fear. In 2 Timothy 1, 7, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. So when you preach the word, the word of God will accomplish its purpose. In our verse, in verse 16, the power is in the gospel and it brings salvation to the people. So there's nothing to be ashamed because it is God who will make it into completion the purpose that He has. You will not be afraid because of love, because you have known the one who loved you and saved you. In 2 Timothy 1.12, But I am not ashamed, for I know whom I believe, and I am convinced that He is able to guard until that day what He has been entrusted to me. God has entrusted to us His gospel. Let us stand firm in faith and preach the gospel. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you because you have given us a spirit of power and love. Thank you that you will not allow your children who are standing up for you, who are preaching the gospel, to be embarrassed. But Lord, as they open your word and preach it to the people, accompany your word with signs and wonders, that people will be saved, people get healed when your word is bringing forth. Father, thank you because of entrusting us your word and help us to preach to the people who needs you. We commit this all to you. Thank you, God, for the promise of your presence wherever we go. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So teens, thank you so much for joining us today. See you again tomorrow. Invite your friends. God bless you.